Hi everybody, it's Greg again, Bioinformatter from Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Moxfield. Uh, this weekend has been an adventure with uh, uh, Double Masters 2022. Um, I uh, For today, I got in um, two draft boxes and two collector boxes. Um, and so the break videos are either already posted or in progress of being posted. Um, but these are the rares and mythics that I pulled from those four boxes. So I've got two collector boxes and two uh, draft boxes. And these are just the rares and mythics. And I figured I would just uh, go over them. Um, as an experiment, the first time I did this, I, I ranked them from... Uh, you know, TCG mid um, low down to TCG up to TCG, TCG mid high. Uh, that's a lot of work. Um, so I kind of like just stratified this a little bit. So there's at least some suspense. The best stuff is at the bottom, and the and the more janky stuff is at the top. Um, so uh, and to build the suspense, um, this this is an amazing stack right here. So it's gonna go last. I'm going to go with the first collector box, um, um, first uh, draft box I opened uh, this morning. And uh, here we go. So we got Planar Bridge, Dromoka's Command, Joda Archmage Eternal, Creekwood Liege. Greater Gargadon, Figure of Destiny, you can tell we're in the jank category here, uh, Cataract Leviathan, Teneb the Harvester, Splinter Fright, Arjun the Shifting Flame, Prized Amalgam, Obnixilis Unshackled, you know, it's not worth a lot, but that's a pretty mean card, um, Imperial Archangel, uh, Grave Crawler, for those of you mono black players, uh, Hirvek the Merciless, Nim Death Mental, Doran the Siege Tower, Rafik the Many, Rafik of the Many, uh, Deathbringer Liege, the Mimeoplasm, <laughs> Talrand, yes, so he's the jankiest of the jank. Uh, Abzan Ascendancy, Zur the Enchanter, Leonin Arbiter, Merkfiend Liege, Restoration Angel, Mindrak Liege, Guided Passage. Guided Passage, Dax Duplicate, okay, Grand Arbiter Augustine, so we're starting to get into some better stuff here, um, Earl the Mist, Mist Stalker, I do have a foil etched version of that, um, Supreme Verdict, Lord of Extinction, so that's a mythic. Uh, Drug Skull Reaver. Hydroid Crisis in foil. Forbidden Orchard. Panharmonicon in Borderless. 
So, you know, if you're getting tired of any of the other versions, you know, you've got a new version to bling out your decks with. Uh, Vidalkin Orrery. So I actually hit this several times uh, across this weekend. Uh, Thrumming Stone. Monastery Mentor. Surgical Extraction. Muldratha the Grave Tide. And Borderless. So that's that's very pretty. Damnation. So that's pretty good. Phyrexian Altar. So that's definitely good. But Force of Negation in Borderless. Food Chain. So that's a $30 card. Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre. So that's even bigger. And Emrakul, the Aeons Torn. So that was a reasonably good box. Let's check out the second. Um, haha, uh, you may have gotten a preview there. Um, so this is the second uh, draft booster box. We've got Teneb the Harvester, Splinter Fright, Elsha the Infinite, uh, Prized Amalgam, Gave Guru of Spores, the Mimeoplasm. Micaeus the Lunark. Rune of the Hidden Realm. Obnixilis Unshackled. Backdraft Hellkite. Kervik the Merciless. Rishkar, P <laughs> Rishkar Pima Renegade in foil. Uh, Merc Fiend Liege. So we're still we're still in the jank area. Restoration Angel is also a cheap one. Uh, Mind Rack Liege. Alesha. Uh, Mizix of the Is Magnus. Guided Passage. Balefire Liege. You know, so most of these. There was a Legion of Lieges in this set. Um, most of them aren't worth that much. Um, they're not bad cards, but necessarily. But uh, Planar Bridge. Okay, Hardened Scales. So this is like a four dollar card. So I think we're so we're moving up from the jank at least a little bit. Maybe uh, Joda is still a cheap one. Um, Anguished on Making. So that's just sub. I think that's also like a four. Greater Gargadon's a cheap one. Skullbriar is a cool one. Uh, Atarka's Command. Uh, another Leash. Deathbringer Leash. Uh, Rishkar. Okay. Firesong and Sunspeaker. Jeskai Ascendancy. Tariel Reckoner of Souls. Uh, bring to light. Okay, we still haven't started hitting. <laughs> well, okay. Yes, he's he's out of order. He could have been like the first card. Uh, Taloran Sky Summoner. Yes, yes, we we are still getting him in a rare slot. Um, Necrotic Ooze, which isn't worth as much as I thought it should be based on what it can do. Um, Zur the Enchanter. Okay, Child of Valara. So I think now we're hitting into decent territory here. And here's Grand Arbiter Augustus. Yes, so we're we're moving up in the world here. Um, and even a foil version of the Grand Arbiter. So that's even better. 
Emil the Blessed and Borderless. So that's a pretty card. Fidalcan Orrery. You know, so that's like a $14, $15 card. Uh, Green, Scott, Green Sun Zenith, which is also an excellent card. Aether Vile. You know, so that's a perennial favorite. I mean, it's had a bunch of uh, reprints and it's still like... You know, it's still over 10 at least. Um, Aurelia the War Leader. So that's, you know, extra combats. Thrumming Stone. And, and I still have to get someone to explain to me why this is worth as much as it is. There might, you know, is it just because of non-EDH strategies or is there a cool EDH use for it? Uh, Bloodboard Battle, Battle Axe in borderless to fairies protection so now now we're headed up into the bigger leagues damnation okay so that's that's you know valuable dockside dockside extortionist okay so yes now we've hit the big time <laughs> so dockside extortionist as borderless so that's excellent but we also got an Ulamog, the infinite, the infinite Gyre. So we got another Ulamog. And we got a Renin 6 as well. So I think that's, you know, not too bad on the draft boxes. I mean, you know, I haven't worked out the total, but pretty darn good. Not going to, not going to complain too much. Okay, so now we're going to move to, like, the last collector box that I opened so um, so far. Um, so we got a Bring to Light, which is foil etched. We have a Grim Flare. Foil. We have an Atla Polani that's foil etched. Uh, Master Biomancer in foil. Uh, Leonin Arbiter in foil etched. Surgical Extraction and Borderless. So that's uh, a neat alternate take on, on the art. Supreme Verdict, Borderless Foil. So that's, you know, very blingy. Lots of... So that's cool. And we have a Thousand Year Storm in Borderless Foil. That's pretty awesome. Skullbriar, the walking got um walking grave uh foil etched so this is in here because tcg mid had it at a fairly you know a reasonably high price but there's a lot of uh, variance in the price so i don't know if they're like you know overweighting towards some like crazy er error entries in, in the pricing but uh i like the card um and great if it's worth what they say it's worth so here's the alternate um, Teferi's Protection, the Borderless format. You know, so that's like in the 20s, I think, price-wise. And here's the Grand Arbiter Augustine the fourth um, Borderless Foil version. So that's uh, pretty funky art. Uh, and with, the, with nice multicolor foiling effects going on there. But we also got a Concordant Crossroads in Borderless. So that's pretty sweet. But wait, there's more. Smothering Tithe, Borderless. So, so I do have a Borderless foil version of this from the very first collector box, but still, um, an excellent pull. 
And we also got a seasoned pyromancer in foil. And as a grand finale for that box, <laughs> Kozilek Butcher of Truth in borderless foil. So that is a an excellent pull. There's some value there. There's a yes, some expensive Eldrazi in this set. Okay. But now we're moving on to the uh, the second collector box that I opened. And I think it's pretty amazing. So here we go. Okay. We got gifts ungiven. We got Rurik Thar, the unbowed. Okay. Not exciting so far. Um, we have the Mimeoplasm as a borderless foil. Um, still not worth a lot, but I actually, I, that's, it's very cool to have a borderless foil version of that. That's, that just looks cool to me. We have Amanatu, the Fate Shifter, in, in the foil version. Okay. We have Una's Prowler, which is a card I just don't understand. <laughs> um, you know, why... When is this actually good? I, I don't know the strategy to that one. Um, I'm learning. I, maybe I'll figure it out eventually. Um, we have Fiery Justice as an etched foil. So if you want to see what an etched foil looks like. Okay. Now this is cool. A Blood Forged Battle Axe. So the Borderless. Not super expensive. But here's a, here's a Chaos Warp Borderless Foil. So that's just fun. Uh, you know, it's Phil Foglio art, and it's it's it's, it's a fun version of uh, of Chaos Warp and in Borderless Foil. Okay, but then we have a uh, Grand Augustine, Grand Arbiter Augustine the Fourth, in foil etched. But even, but we also have Marquesa, the Black Rose, in foil etched. That's pretty sweet. But you've got hardened scales as a borderless foil. And that's uh, that's an awesome version of hardened scales. I know for for dino aficionados and uh, it just looks cool i love the you know the the, the rainbow crest and uh it's just a fun card um but we also have a thrumming stone in foil then we have dockside borderless Again, so it's my second Dockside Borderless. So that's a major card there. But I've also got a Mana Drain Borderless. And beyond that, there is a Mana Vault Foil Etched. Okay. So that, that is pretty awesome. But for the grand finale, Borderless Foil, Imperial Seal. So, yeah. So the combination of the seal, the vault, the mana drain, the dockside, 
I mean, that's, uh, I mean, what more do you want out of a box? Um, so yes, very pleased with that collector box. It, 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 uh, you know, made up for the first box, which wasn't so terrific. Um, and you know, this, this box was reasonable. Um, but man, this, this is like over the top. So, so anyhow, so I did, I did well this weekend with the rares and the mythics. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review of the hit parade here. <laughs> And, um, I've got a, one more box of each for this set arriving, you know, so one draft and one collectors that's still on their way. Um, I think they're scheduled for Monday and who knows how it'll work out with work and everything when I can, um, record a break. Um, but, uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. Uh, thanks for watching along in these videos. Um, and I hope to see you around for the next one. Bye.